got a problem with the old Ford. Let's see what we can discern. battery might be dead. Let's check the alternator to make sure it's charging. First, that alternator wasn't kicking in, and then it did. Hmm. So either we got an intermittent. alternator issue which is odd or maybe the remote sense wiring telling it to kick on is uh, maybe corroded and not telling it it needs to come on so I'm going to clean up the terminals uh, clean everything up real good and see if that solves it Now a three-eighths to quarter inch socket adapter somewhere in front of my engine. I think it might be behind my headlight bucket here. Well, it looks like maybe a little more in-depth surgery tomorrow. Um, not quite sure what's going on. I got to tear into the engine and see if <clears throat> see if the uh, all the connections at the alternator are good. Um, but it's a little late tonight, so I'm not going to start it. Uh, so tomorrow, we'll perform a little uh, little open heart surgery on the Ford and see what we can come up with. Hey guys, just a little bit of an update on the Ford there. Uh, I took apart the top of the engine there where the air t intake is, the air cleaner. I got that out of the way. Checked uh, the alternator, all the connections around it, everything was uh, was good and solid there. Uh, checked fuses, relays, uh, the fusible link that goes to it. Uh, all the electrical and connections seem to be good. Uh, charged up the battery. Um, and just in case, because uh, a lot of al alternators, they take some voltage uh, from the battery to excite them and to get them going. So I thought maybe that was a possibility. Um, but uh, that, that didn't seem to uh, work either. It's kind of weird. It was an intermittent issue. It would uh, come on and charge uh, for a little bit and then shut off. Uh, battery would kind of run down and then it would and then sometimes it would come on and, and so it was kind of this intermittent back and forth uh, issue. Uh, and I've had a number of alternators go out uh, in my personal vehicles uh, over the years, and it's always just been a cut and dry boom. Uh, alternator goes out and it's pretty evident what's going on and this was the first time I've ever had an intermittent uh, alternator issue uh, so it was kind of puzzling to me uh, so I wanted, wanted to go through and check everything make sure that uh, uh, that everything was in line um, anyhow I uh, went through all the the typical steps uh, checking everything and couldn't come up with anything other than uh, maybe there's some weird intermittent thing going on internally uh, with the alternator, so I uh, went ahead and pulled that out, uh, took it down to, uh, I think it was AutoZone or one of those kind of places, 
and uh, had them put it on the uh, on their bench test uh, machine that they have, and it failed. So uh, ended up getting an alternator, putting an alternator in, and works perfectly. So <laughs> um, I've never had an intermittent alternator issue. I didn't uh, think about that as even being a possibility. Typically, when uh, when an alternator goes out, it's just it's pretty self-evident. It's boom. Uh, it's not charging, so your battery dies and everything stops working. Um, and we run a number of vehicles at work that uh, uh, we run pretty much all Fords at work. And it seems like for some reason around the 200,000 mile mark, the alternators just go on them. And which is which is funny because our, our expedition's I think at 203 or something like that. So uh, <laughs> I guess it was, it was time, but. Uh, uh, I was expecting if it was the alternator that it was just going to uh, to go out right all at once. So, um, first time ever had ever had an intermittent alternator issue. I figured uh, I didn't really think about that as being a possibility. Um, usually, it's wiring or something along those lines: a loose connection, broken connection, corrosion um, is almost always the culprit. Um, but I guess. I'm just letting you know that uh, sometimes it is the alternator. So, <laughs> anyhow, it's up, running, working, and we are uh, pleased as punch, able to uh, do it myself, save a little bit of money from taking it into the shop. So that's always uh, that's always a good thing. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you.